Well, good freaking afternoon, boys and girls, of course. Welcome along to the vlog. Today is just a little bit of an update to tell you what I've been doing over the weekend because I've been very busy with things. Unfortunately, too busy to pick up the camera. It's half past six now and I'm still at it big time. So, Friday night hour, I paid a visit by SJ Allsop. And when he came up, he brought his uh, uh, apprentice and some beer, and we ended up going out all night and having a really good, uh, good session and a drink. So that meant no vlog Friday. Uh, there was also the accountant as well all day. So yeah, not really conducive of good footage. But this weekend, I've been a busy boy. So we've got several projects on the go. And uh, all of these needed my undivided attention, so the camera didn't get picked up. Project one was authentic pork scratchings. These are authentic pork scratchings. Look at the skin on them. Honestly, I've revisited the recipe, revisited the, uh, the fats that we used. I've, I've moved on to beef dripping. In conclusion, though, I think you can just still use vegetable oil. But that was project one. Project two was the pork crunch. These are the dried pig skins, which you put into boiling oil at about 190 degrees C, and they flare up into the massive pork crunch, or the big, uh, they call them chicharrones, I think, or something like that in Spain, or uh, Mexico, sorry, or, or the States. But that's not all. I've also been extremely busy making cheese. So in here, we have the, uh, well, the final stages of an authentic cultured mozzarella or mozzarella and at this side of the room we've saved the way and we're going to be making ricotta cheese. But it doesn't stop there folks, I've also been making black pudding. Check that out, blood sausage. These little beauties look fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to getting into them. Never done anything like that before. And that's not all. I've also made my first sausages. Check this out. So we've got a whole tray full, approximately uh, five kilos of sausages there. We've got some more pigskin for the crunch. And we've got a batch of jerky in here, which is marinating. This is going to go into the dehydrator tonight and we are going to be packaging this and trialing it in the pub and all of these ideas are possibly for the pub look at those bleeding sausages boys i mean i've never made sausages before in my life and they look like a good tray of bangers to me so yeah i've been extremely busy with all these experiments get into grips with the new mincer that I've bought. I think I'm gonna to have to buy a sausage stuffer at some point if I wanna to continue to do this. It was very difficult to stuff the sausage skins with the mincer. The black pudding, something I've never done before, and wow, that is certainly <laughs> something that's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I've got terrible backache because all I've done is stand up at the cooker all, all weekend, cleaning and monitoring temperatures and pots and putting meat in the freezer, waiting until it's chilled, putting it through the grinder, all these things. It's been a really good weekend, but you know, I need a week at work to recover from it all. So just thought I'd let you know where we are. Tomorrow, normal service resumes. We're going into the brewery. We're going to be dry hopping the neck oil clone and uh, maybe some other bits and bobs. Oh, and the cold room's running like a dream. So that's it, wrapping up folks. Thanks for your time. See you tomorrow for another week on Airbrew69's channel. Cheers.